Today, we're gonna find out what size hail would kill you instantly. A portion of this video was brought to you by Brilliant.org. Tornadoes are the first thing most people think of when they hear the term extreme weather, but as crazy as they can be, hail is arguably the bigger threat. For example, in the past 25 years, Texas has had 36 weather events that totaled over $100 million in damages. Two of those were thunderstorms, five were tornadoes, and a whopping 29 were caused by hail. But hail that's big enough to damage property isn't necessarily big enough to kill, and in the past 20 years, only four instances of hail-caused fatalities have occurred, compared to 1,400 from tornadoes. But what size hail is dangerous, and what would actually happen if you got hit? To find out, I needed to make some hail. Real hail is formed when droplets of water clump together and freeze in the upper layers of thunderstorm clouds. At some point, the hail gets so big that it's too heavy to be held aloft, at which point it plummets down to Earth. Of course, that's how nature does it, but making a freezing cold wind turbine to form hail here on Earth just isn't all that practical. So instead, we're going to be making our hail in the freezer. Since I wanted to know what size hail would kill you, I needed to make a lot of different molds. Last time I did this, I was able to get away with a single part mold, but needing to cast a sphere makes this quite a bit more complicated. To start, I ordered a bunch of spherical objects off Amazon in various sizes. These act as the positives for the mold, creating the cavity that water will later fill. For the outside of the mold, you can really use anything you want, but my best molds came out of these acrylic risers that I got from the container store. I stuck the bottom of the mold to a piece of cardboard, and then I attached short hot glue sticks to each of my positives, which would later serve as fill spouts. These I glued to the bottom of the mold. After hitting it with a healthy coating of mold release, I filled it up halfway with silicone. Then I added some clay stalactites that would act as registration marks and make it easier to align the halves later on. Wait for that to cure, hit it all with mold release, fill it up the rest of the way with silicone, and before you know it, you've got a great two-part mold. I made about five molds in total, with sizes ranging from half inch all the way up to four inches in diameter. Plus, I made a mega extra big one that was like two four inch spheres connected together by a solid cylinder of ice. This process was a lot of trial and error for me and the molds were far from perfect, but they managed to make hail that was good enough to test with. And after about a week, the spheres of ice were pretty much good to go. To see how much damage the hail actually does, I cast a model skull inside a head made of ballistics gel. On top of the skull, I attached a simple G-force sensor, which are normally used in shipping to see if a package was mishandled. But in our case, we're using it to judge blunt force trauma. As a comparison, we'll also be firing the hail at a car door as sort of a qualitative benchmark to see what kind of property damage each of these kinds of hail would be capable of. With everything ready to go, I took our first three hail sizes out of the freezer and headed outside to test them. I got the ice! To launch the hail at terminal velocity, Ross and I used a 10 gallon air cannon, which we fitted with a valve from a tire bead setter and a custom polycarbonate barrel. Polycarb is rated for relatively high pressure, so it shouldn't break while testing, and these valves are designed to release air instantaneously, which means we should get the full force of the air all at once. Since we were going in completely blind, we planned to start small with half inch hail and work our way up until our dummy seemed sufficiently dead. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Damn, bro. That is way more damage than what I expected oh, yeah. from something that small. Wow. That actually nice. left quite a dent. I don't want to be in front of that. All right, yeah, let's load up another one. We could cram like three or four in there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that didn't do anything. What was that? They came apart. All right, let me, uh, I'm gonna get the heads. All right. How'd we do? Good enough. That's like the perfect height. Paintball sized hail in three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can up. see the ice in here. Yeah, see? Oh, it just wasn't as loud because we had no real impact. There was no, gel. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I call that a success, man. I don't think I killed him, but he's not happy. All right, we're tossing five of these down the tube. Five small hailstones firing in three, two, one. Yeah, I think basically the same result is what it seems like. Yeah, look at that. That that hailstone is totally intact. I mean, they obviously hit the skull, but like, there's no real damage. The shock hasn't been registered. Yeah. They're just, I mean, these are just too light. Yeah, I think basically the same result is what it seems like. Yeah, they didn't even break. They hit that shock watch sticker pretty directly. Yeah, they did. Which is pretty wild. They really bounced off. Okay. All right. Bigger? Wicked, yeah, bigger. One inch hailstone in three, two, one. That's actually, the damage isn't that much worse than the other one. It's mostly just the same like depth of dent, but it's like just a bigger impact. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can see the whole door wobble here. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is really cooking with gas. 
One inch hailstone in three, two, one. That didn't do a whole lot of damage. I mean, it just sort of chunked off a little bit more of the gelatin. We're probably not gonna do serious damage. The truth is your head doesn't have that much material on the outside anyway. No, it right? doesn't. And so the gelatin is more to get a feel for how much movement is occurring right. than anything else. I mean, come on, like 50% of ballistics gelatin is just making it look cool. I think we have to size up. This is an inch and a half size. Three, two, one. <laughs> It's on top of the old hole. It That's is, pretty yeah. impressive. It's bigger though. It is definitely a bigger dent. Oh, nice. Look at that. That is a good impact. It's a really solid <laughs> impact. It's definitely more hefty, but it's not like a game changer by any means. Like nobody's no. nobody's a, getting killed by that. Right. He's still alive. He's still good. For now. We're for now we're still good. One and a half inch hail on a ballistics gel head, firing in three, two, one. <laughs> The Did dice? we trip our... Uh... I think it hit there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it impacted it hard enough to fully break it, but you can sort of see that there's a little bit of red dye bleeding into that tube there. It's pretty nuts. Wow. The whole head moved down. Yes, it did. He's not going to live today. That's like golf ball size, yeah. right? That's about golf ball sized hail. So, two and a half inch hailstones firing in three, two, one. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god! It, it hit the ridge, yeah, which is the strongest spot. Well, that's the strongest spot, and it dented the crap Holy out of it. Holy crap, dude. And that's only 15 PSI, so oh, this is yeah. probably pretty accurate. That's almost baseball-sized hail. But like the difference between like getting golf ball-sized and baseball-sized hail is pretty intense. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that. <laughs> the whole panel of the door just like went in. That is nice. unreal. Uh, two and a half inch hail in three, two, one. <laughs> Holy crap. It uh, looks like we kind of heard the skull. Yeah, he didn't like that. Oh, that's the oh, ice on the yeah. inside. There you go. And look, look, we totally triggered the shock watch. He did hang right down. That would the... cause like a serious concussion. So two and a half inch hail, you go inside. Definitely go inside. It looked like two and a half inches might be enough to kill you, but while the force sensor had tripped, the head was still fully intact. So we needed to keep going bigger, but when we did, we ran into a bit of a problem. The valve we were using just wasn't designed to let out the amount of air that we needed it to, and that was causing the hailstone to launch at really slow speeds. The odd vibrating sound you hear is actually a valve opening and closing in quick succession, making the air rush into the chamber too slowly. We needed something that would let all the air rush into the barrel as as fast as possible, so we whipped up a custom pressure chamber designed to use burst discs. These are little plastic discs which break once the chamber reaches around 80 to 100 psi, which just so happens to be the amount of pressure we need to reach terminal velocity. And after testing them out, we knew these were the right solution. This is like the size of your fist. Three and a quarter inch hail. Firing in three, two, one. Holy we got it. Shit. <laughs> Damn, dude! Look at this. It's fracturing on its own. Look, every once in a while you can see one like jump. Mm -hmm. It's because it's tempered. The distresses go all through it. Oh. Whoa! It just went straight through. Oh, man. That's nice. I think we should just go for the head now. All right, I mean, let's load it up. Four inch hail. Out this thing. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, dude. Hey, it tripped. It fully tripped. Look at that. And you can see that like there's, right? Oh, you can wow. see the like brain trauma, which is that green goo. A balloon is in here full of brain. And so that popped. Oh, what? What was that? That was it splitting in half. And yeah, the I think so. gel was just strong. So it held it. But yeah, the gel kind of held it together. I mean, you're not walking away from that, but even so, oh, like, no. that is going to be well over 50 Gs of force oh, delivered yeah. directly to the head. You know what? I want to launch the uh, other four inch one at the other head. This head is basically a special effect. Um, it's not meant to be an accurate representation of a head. The thing is, these heads are plastic and they're actually a resin kind of plastic. And resin is somewhat harder than your skull. So even though these are the same size as a head, it's not 100% accurate, but it's, it's close enough. It's the best that we can do. 
All right, four inch hail versus effect head. Let's do it. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh <laughs> dude. <laughs> what? It got broken. Why does it look like? Look at that. It broke That's, it in half. Yeah. yeah. It's just there's some there's some stuff that was holding on and pulled it back together. Look at that! Oh my god! Yeah. I don't think he's gonna survive, Lewis. I don't think he's gonna make it. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, dude, it's all gone. All the goo is out. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I didn't realize how much exited, but yeah, that was. Oh, yeah. Bunch of it went there. That's awesome. That's crazy. I mean, we've got more hail. Do we want to launch it at the door? We might as well. This is big jungus. Okay. That thing is ridiculous. Just looking at that and go down the two. All right, big chungus hailstone. Still pressurizing. It's gone. Yeah! Holy crap! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look at that, dude. Oh my god, all oh, the paint's peeling. Yeah. Oh my oh god. god. Oh. Yeah. oh Move my the god. whole door. Yeah, that's the highest pressure we've ever hit. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Dude, that. that was moving. Yeah. That's crazy. All right, this is some pretty cool physics, but if you want to learn about some more cool everyday physics, why not check out the course from our sponsor, Brilliant.org. You can learn a lot from watching videos like this one, but if you want to truly understand the science behind the crazy stuff we do on this channel, Brilliant is the perfect place to be. This course goes in depth into the super cool physics that are happening all around us, covering everything from ax throwing to car crashes, and of course, extreme weather. The way the concepts are explained is super easy to follow along with, and even I found myself walking away having learned something new. So it is definitely worth your time to check it out. Plus, Brilliant offers daily challenges designed to help you learn new concepts by applying them, and each includes all of the context required to tackle it. If you like the problem and want to learn more, there's a course quiz that explores the same concept in greater detail, or if you're confused and you need some more guidance, there's a community of thousands of learners discussing the problems and writing solutions. So to strengthen your brain muscles and learn more about Brilliant, Go check out Brilliant.org and sign up for free. And the first 200 people will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. I think my official benchmark conclusion here is that anything above baseball-sized hail is deadly. But if you want to get, you know, truly obliterated, you, you got to go like three and a quarter inch at least. If you want to check out anything by Ross, he's made a crazy giant wooden tank and he's trying to do a supersonic ice bullet. You can go subscribe to him. And of course, thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. And if you want to become one, you can go down below. There's cool behind the scenes and all sorts of stuff I do over there.